to all the ladies in the place with style and grace. He's one of the biggest names to ever come out of Bedford-Stuyvesant. The late Christopher Wallace, also known as Biggie Smalls, was only 24 when his life was cut short. Biggie. But it was more than enough time to make an impact, not only on hip-hop, but his community, and today they paid him back. City officials, along with friends and family of the late rapper, dedicated newly renovated basketball courts at Cispus Attic's playground in his honor. The same courts Biggie played on while growing up in Bed-Stuy. New York City Councilman Robert Carnegie, who knew Wallace personally, played a huge role in making it happen. For people in my generation, he was a hero. The effect that he had and the impact that he had on the genre of music known as hip-hop, now it's a billion-dollar industry. He's a linchpin in that. The rapper's daughter, Tiana, was on hand for the unveiling that brought out scores of children from the community, some proving that Biggie's music still lives on with the next generation. He was a rapper. He was a rapper. Do you know any of his songs? Biggie, 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 can't you see? Sometimes he runs just hypnotize me. As the Christopher Biggie Wallace Courts is set to host its first basketball tournament this weekend, the legendary DJ Mr. C, a producer for Biggie's debut album, says the city should just keep the ball rolling. The next step, that Christopher Wallace way, we got to name St. James Place after Biggie. That'll be the, the icing on the cake. Despite the dramatic changes that have transformed Biggie's old neighborhood, those who know him well say if you were still around today, he would embrace it. Because after all, like he said, call the crib, same number, same hood. It's all good. And if so. you don't know, now you know. You know. In Bed-Stuy, I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX 11 News.